this is what my wheel should look like while driving but instead it looks like this it's wobbling from side to side and the wheel is just very shaky so let's check it out and see what the problem is first i'll jack the car up and i'm just going to push and pull on the wheel to see if it shakes just like it did when i drove it and it's not shaking at all so that means the suspension is most likely not the problem next i'll spin the tire while it's in the air and you can clearly see the wobble while it's spinning but i already checked the suspension and it looks fine there's nothing bent or broken and i already did the push and pull test so this means the problem is strictly a wheel issue maybe the wheel needs to be rebalanced or the rim is bent or the tire could be defective okay now another thing you can do is get a screwdriver and do something called the screwdriver test to see if the rim is bent we'll put the screwdriver here right here between the tire and the rim so let's start right here slowly going around see there's a big gap right there and right here, it actually hits the screwdriver. Look at that. So the screwdriver is right here in between the rim and the tire. And see how it hits it? I'm gonna keep letting it go around. Letting it go around. And you see now, it's there's a big gap again. See this? Look at that, and it's really big right here and now it's scraping up against the rim again and now we have the gap again if this wheel was perfectly straight the screwdriver would have maintained the same distance from the rim the entire time i rotated it so we know the rim is bent because as i rotate the wheel it either hits the wheel or there's a huge gap. So this rim is definitely not straight. But this test isn't always 100% accurate. So that's why I prefer just putting a donut on the car or another rim that you know is not bent and seeing if it does the same thing. So I took the tire off of the car and I looked it over. I don't see any dents in the rim. I don't see it bent anywhere. I also checked the tread all around the tire and the tread looks fine. Now I put this donut on the car. If there's something wrong with the actual frame of the vehicle or the suspension, the donut should be doing the same thing that the old wheel was doing. It should be, we should see it shaking when I go for a test drive. So if this donut doesn't do that, that means the suspension is fine and there is something wrong with this rim. You can see the donut is not wobbling or shaking at all. So the simple fix for this is getting a new rim or a used one that is not bent. Okay, so this is the new rim that I have here. Um, hopefully this will fit. I'm not gonna put it on the car myself because I don't know how to do it without a machine. So I'm just gonna take it to Goodyear and let them handle it. So I just picked my car up and it now has the brand new rim installed and there's no shaking, no wobbling, everything looks great. So in this instance, the wobble was caused by a bent rim, but that might not always be the case. A bad bearing, uneven tire wear, or even brake issues can cause the same problem. But now you know what to look for if you suspect you could have a bent rim.